Right, so this is a quick walk round of the white Land Venture, which is up for sale. So if you've got this, this is not gonna, not gonna, I'm quite sure, make it onto YouTube. So if you've got the link for this, it's because you expressed an interest and wanted to see more. So it's gonna start with the bonnet up simply because it's easier to put the bonnet down than put the bonnet up with it and keep it continuous. So the engine bay, the engine bay itself, um, if you look at the, well, everything in there, the uh, the ABS, the bottles, um, behind the headlight is where you should be looking, or we should be looking behind there on a Jimny. Um, and you can't even see any patches of orange. Um, stuff like this, um, bolts, everything about it, um, dry engine, really dry and it's dusty dust dusty dusty dirty well it's not really dirty um but as you can see it's it's dusty which means it's not been cleaned it's not been cleaned because we haven't cleaned it obviously but that means we've not um we don't try to cover anything up worst thing you can do is when you're looking at a car is see a, see a spotless engine that's been valeted and uh, detailed and you don't know if it had oil leaks or any sort of issues, but here, um, sometimes on UK ones, you can see the uh, master cylinder with corrosion on it. Um, nothing and everything, every pipe, everything. The only thing that only thing that lets engines down on chimneys from Japan, uh, there's, there's two or three things. Uh, one is the, the hanger that holds the rear wheel that we take off and we repaint that and that. And it, it, do you know what I mean? If you watch any of my videos, it's always just that bracket. We always take those off, um, rub them down, use um, use this, like a zinc primer, and then repaint them. So that that is where your eye goes to straight away. But everything else in the engine bay looks looks brand new. Um, back of the headlights again, exactly the same thing. You've got no the horn. No corrosion, nothing, not even a slight, not even the slight beginning of rust. So we're gonna just put this in the other hand. Just so they can keep this continuous. And there we've got the the white Land Venture. It has got um, it's got pearlescent paint, it's a really overcast day today, it's a really dull day. You're not really going to see it at its best. It's going to be cut, polished and waxed. Um, I'm going to have a look, see, the, normally this is where you would get anything on a corner. Uh, we've just had a car, absolutely beautiful car, um, every corner. It's got lights, got car park scuffs and it's just, you know what I mean, no disrespect to anybody, but it's just because it will be a, a, not a very good or careful driver in car parks um well you've no chips cracks or anything in the windscreen but you will see the element there which is for the heated windscreen um you've got the door mirrors which are heated they fold automatically and they have got the turn signals in them you've got chrome handles matching chrome um, locks got the monsoon guards um, roof not a lot to say about the roof but obviously sometimes it's worth looking at the roof see if it's got any dents in it I'm not going to pull it away from the wall I'm just going to leave it where it is for now but there's nothing coming down this side and nothing on that corner I just might as well scoot across to that corner while we're here Tiny, 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 what you, I would say, more than acceptable on a car of this age, that that's all there is. Um, we've got, there is, there is a GRP um, spare wheel cover. The, the hanger, everything for the um, spare wheel, everything. Factory fit privacy glass in the back, which is a nice, nice and dark one. Open the door, we have got the, Obviously, folding seats, 
show you underneath here um, nothing to uh, nothing to look at really however this is where you should be looking again because it's this sort of area and it's grubby yes it's grubby because we haven't washed it we haven't polluted it um, out, or everything comes out everything gets swept out um, wiped out and um, and backed out so We've got, uh, we have got a head unit in there, not even sure if it works to be honest. Uh, it should come out, it will come out. It's, it's, it normally comes out, but it is an option. As I, yeah, as I keep reiterating to people, um, it's up to you if you don't want the head unit changing, but it will be, it will be um, only on the radio too. Probably do CDs. There are the back seats. There's a few indentations of it, the, the back seats have been down and they've been lent on uh, there was something on that side and they've been lent on the seat belt holders the front seats need a really really good clean a little bit grubby it's a little bit wear on this this edge of the driver's seat slight bit of wear there on that one that one's got a little bit of a say in there but all this all this should come up and it's it's a really nice grey leather effect. Um, what we can do, what you can do, it's a bit of a pain, um, but I'm sure we can. We can swap that seat onto the runners for this seat so that that wear would be in the middle and then it would look like the driver's seat is brand new. Um, swap the seats over because the driver's seat is always the one that gets, gets the most wear. Um, steering wheel has got a sewn on cover of it, which I quite like, it makes it a little bit chunkier. Um, we've got the obviously automatic automatic box above there you will see sometimes put pictures in of things like this that go over people's heads in as much as the bottom left is your heated door mirrors the bottom right of your picture there is your heated seats so both of these seats are heated and they do they heat up really good really fast and they're worth it and there you have got your heated windscreen below it you've got all the um all the switches for pulling the yeah uh, pulling the mirrors in and adjusting them all of these on a uk gym need this this holes and spaces got got a set of mats for this got i'm sure we've got a set of mats for this um because i've got two sets of mats that we've just washed a week or so ago um so that's why we've got no mats and again it's a bit grubby it's a bit um needs a little bit of of a clean that's all do you know what i mean there's nothing they, they haven't put anything onto the dashboard they haven't screwed anything on sometimes people like to screw things on and it, i hate it i hate hate when you've got a uh, thing screwed on you've got um quite a few um service records a lot of these can all be translated for the dates, for the um, for what they mean. Uh, we'll have a look underneath. Right, so we'll start with the rear end first. Um, there we go, back of the brakes, back of the, um, back of the hubs, everything. Um, it does look like this car has had some, some form of underseal on. Um, you can see it coming off a little bit, but even though it's coming off, it will be, it will benefit for a new coat or, um, or a fresh coat of the underbody treatment. The main thing is when you look up there, at the bottom of the boot floor, you can call it a boot, but it's the space that you need to be looking at. This is where all the corrosion sets in. You need, what you need to do is look at this in conjunction with a UK gym man just to see the difference everything here is just as it came off the ship just as it left japan there's nothing hidden as, as you can see it's not even had a wash it's it's still got dust on it it's still got dirt on it um so it's as honest it's as honest a look as you can get um and it's the nuts it's the nuts the bolts the heads everything i mean there you have literally got a tiny bit of orange and you've got to look, you've got to look a long way to find anything like that. Um, I saw the other day somebody was 
asking advice on on a, on a chimney that they were looking at and they had quite a few advisories on corrosion and rust and they were saying is it worth it and somebody said well got to put some time time aside for and money aside for it for it to be welded but once you start welding once you start looking at the corrosion you he, you find a spot with corrosion and you chase it and chase it and chase it until you find some good metal. We'll have a look at the front end. Okay, so not a lot again to say about the front end apart from I will dwell on some of these shots so you can have a really good look, take it in. Um, last thing you want is somebody firing a camera out so you've got just glimpses of everything but there you see in the back of the swivel hubs which are look really dry shiny rust free everything corrosion free around it again you've got the um the diff looks like it's had a coating and it really does and i only say this because i'm used to seeing um diffs that don't have this black coating on um the sump as well but it's in and amongst it's in and amongst with everything underneath i can just hopefully get everything to focus you can just see that there is very very little to be concerned about with the holes of the underneath of this car um, if you'd like to see more um, at some point, if you do up many, if somebody really wants to investigate further, we can get it up, get the wheels off, get it, so you can see. Absolutely, it's had an MOT. It's had an MOT, so that was one of the questions that we got of um, what the brakes like, what's everything like on it, and the guys that do our MOT, they are quite sticklers, and I don't always agree with when the. Uh, when they ask for new brakes or pads, but if they ask for them, we put them on. And there you have it. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that it's got a dash cam. It also has a reversing camera. However, however, it is very, very difficult um, to integrate those into a new head unit. Uh, they will use they will more than likely work with the head unit that are in but it's very difficult to integrate them um we did it once before and the only reason we did it once before was because right there there's a dash cam that was built in and it was body colored as well so it made sense to try and make that work it wasn't easy it wasn't a two minute job one more thing to uh to look at here is the wheels on this are the newer the newer um more like spoke wheels which came out in about 2012 so the owners put those on looks really nice on it I, as far as i can remember i think the spare is just the normal older style that which should have come with this wheel uh with this year but that makes no difference um just one thing there is a little bit of a little bit of scuffing which looks like it happened as the owner got in and out as you can see, all the, all the shots look, look like brand new. Just that little bit there. Um, but on the face of it, the car is a really nice car. And that's that's the uh, that's the condition of the tyres. Lots of meat left on those. And that's your. Adventure.